So now we're going to work on the turn on the haunches. Now some of you may be familiar with this, um, seeing like reining horses spin and that sort of thing. Uh, it's not going to be a real fast spin like that. But basically what you're looking for is you want the hind end to basically stay in the same spot and you want your in, uh, I'm sorry, outside front leg to cross over, okay? Now what determines the inside and outside is going to be your bend, okay? So if I'm going to move my horse away from me here, if I'm on the left side and I'm going to move my horse to her right, I'm going to want her actually bent to the right a little bit. So that means that the right is going to be her inside. So even though I'm on the left and I'm giving her cues here, I'm on the outside. So it can be a little bit confusing sometimes, uh, but just kind of bear with me on that one. So we're going to have her bent to the right. So that's her inside, whichever direction she's bent towards. And so it's going to be her outside, her left front leg is going to cross over. Just like what we talked about with the hind feet and the disengaging, it needs to cross over, not under and not stepping side by side. The hind, ideally we would like to see that uh, right hind foot, um, which is her inside. We'd like to see her right hind foot be the pivot foot. Now the thing that I am going to uh, warn you about, like I did with the uh, disengagement, is that it doesn't necessarily need to grind into the ground, okay? That's not necessary. It can be, especially if you do it a lot, it can get really hard on their joints. And so, you know, don't worry about it grinding a hole into the ground, okay? You know, even if it steps up and down a little bit, that's perfectly fine. But you want the hind end to stay put and you want the front end to move around, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to do for my cues for this one. I'm going to have my hand on our halter, on our face, tip her nose away from me a little bit and then my right hand in this case and this has the whip so I can use it to move her front or for hind swinging out which is you know a problem that you'll sometimes have and I'll show you how to correct um, if her hind swinging out too much I can also flick my whip up here and correct her okay and so I'm gonna push her away from me and I don't want that hind end to move I just want the front okay so let's see if we can get a couple steps around And I'm going to put pressure when that left front foot goes to step. So a little push. Good girl. So that was pretty good there. So I timed it. I didn't hold necessarily. It was a little right here with this hand on her shoulder when that uh, left inside outside foot. I'm sorry. It's a little confusing. But when that left outside foot would go to cross over, I give a little push just to really emphasize that crossover and release. My hand's still staying there. Um, but you're going to time it with the steps again. So that I'm hoping through this video, practicing these exercises, this is you can really get a good feel for timing your cues and for cueing each step. Now I'm going to turn around and go ahead to the other side. Switch hands. This my right hand is going to be on the halter. Left hand's on the shoulder. Okay. And I'd like to see this right front foot now cross over. And I'd like to see the left hind uh, be a little bit of a pivot foot again. Like you saw, it doesn't need to grind into the ground, that's not necessary, um, but you want the hind end to stay, okay? So the front is making a circle around the hind end. So I'm gonna ask her to this side. A little bend to the uh, inside for her. Oh, she crossed under there, give a little more pressure, good. Good. Oh, crossed under again, a little more pressure, good. Ooh. So you can see on this side, she actually crossed her inside front, uh, or outside front leg under um, twice, I think it was. And so what I'm gonna need to do, I can see, all right, maybe she's a little bit sticky on this side today. So I'm going to ask her again, I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure, and I'm also gonna have a little bit more bend as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one more time. Get a little more bend. And push, release. Push, good girl, release. Push, now her hind's moving, so I'm gonna flick my whip up here and say, no, no, I want your hind to move. Release, 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 good. Release, good. Good girl. So that one wasn't quite as bad. Now you can see, uh, when I was on the opposite side, sending her to the right, that was quite a bit easier for her than on this side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn her around a little bit. One side with your horse that's easier to the other um, than the other in each movement. Now, when you're starting this, you don't have to go all the way around, okay? Absolutely not necessary. I don't recommend it. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just ask for one step of crossover to start with. So just push your horse's head away from you a little bit, and then you're going to use your other hand on the shoulder and release. 
okay? One step at a time. Once you get one step really good, and your horse is consistently crossing their front leg over on a consistent basis, and they're moving off lightly, then you start to ask for two or three or four or five, and then you eventually get all the way of the round. Take your time. This isn't something that in one day you're gonna come in and start with one step and then you'll have a 360 by the end of the day, okay? Take your time with it, take several sessions, you know, really solidify um, that the basics for your horse, okay? Because if you try to push it forward too quickly, uh, it, things will start to fall apart if they don't have a good solid foundation. So really reward one step at a time until that gets nice and light, and then you can start to ask for more. So now with France, we're gonna show you an example of the turn on the haunches. This one, haunches stay, front end moves, okay? Start on this side, so I want this front leg to cross over. I'm going to have my whip and my uh, lead rope in my right hand. My left hand's going to hold on to his halter, and I'm going to tip his nose away from me. And then my hand right here is going to, you know, I kind of put my fingers out and push on his shoulder a little bit. So let's just get a couple steps from him to each side at first, and then we'll see if we can work him all the way around.
if you're only doing one step, there's not really an opportunity for the hind to swing out. Unless your horse is so overweighted on the front that they can't move the front without the hind swinging out. Um, but then you have some other physical problems going on. The majority of horses, if you're doing one step of this, you shouldn't have to worry about the hind swinging out just yet. Okay? I'm going to go ahead to the other side. Just focusing on stepping that front over. 